October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we're taking action for your health tonight with information on a rare but deadly form of breast cancer that does not show itself with a lump or on a mammogram. Evelyn Daniels loves to read. She spent her career as a school librarian until a rare form of breast cancer forced her into retirement 13 years ago. Her mammogram at that time was clear. Everything was fine. Um, I had no reason to suspect that the itching I was having on my breast had anything to do with breast cancer. But it did. Doctors diagnosed her with inflammatory breast cancer. Inflammatory breast cancer is a form of breast cancer that actually directly infects the skin. And so as a consequence, when women present with it, the breast is often swollen and reddened and enlarged and painful. There is no lump. And this type of cancer usually can't be seen on a mammogram. While it's not common, Dr. Greenberg sees maybe one or two cases a year, it is extremely aggressive, and Evelyn says, often misdiagnosed. Usually what happens is the doctor will send you to a dermatologist to be checked for some rash or something, and then you'll get put on an ointment for a month. Meanwhile, um, inflammatory breast cancer being so aggressive is spreading rapidly. Well, when I was a young, a young lad, um, this breast cancer was not, was not considered curable um, very often. In the modern era, in the last 15 to 20 years, the likelihood of curing it has improved to around 40 to 50 percent. So. Evelyn's doctors diagnosed her quickly. Her treatment included oral chemotherapy first, surgery to remove the breast, and radiation. Despite the cancer coming back once, Evelyn has survived for 13 years. What does she attribute that to? I pray a lot, but I also know that I had very good physicians who were on top of what was happening. Again, here are the signs to look for. They include redness of the breast, breast swelling, pain or itching, thickening of the skin or dimpling, swelling in the lymph nodes in your armpit or above or below the collarbone. If you'd like more information on IBC, head over to my Facebook page. Look for Linda Hurtado, WFTS.